So political commentator and author, political activist Candace Owens, she recently, not too long ago, called out a UK artist for wearing a dress on the cover of Vogue magazine. And we have to get into this leftist progressive agenda. And the man who was wearing the dress, yes, it's a man named Harry Styles. We have to address the leftist progressive agenda that is occurring right now in Western societies. They are, they are pushing completely against gender norms in every way that they can. And one way that they try to do this is they try to emasculate men publicly. They try to get men who are willing to display themselves in a feminine way just so they can present him and say, hey, look at this, gender doesn't matter. And they keep doing this because this is part of the progressive agenda. The, uh, the agenda is to blur gender lines, is to try to make it seem like there's no difference between a man and a woman when we know there are differences between men and women. And it's not a bad thing. It's just differences. And it's okay to be different. It's okay. And Harry Styles is definitely uh, different as hell for wearing that dress. And here's the thing. We have a right to criticize what a person wears. We do have a right to do that. Similarly, that person has the right to wear what he wants to wear. So if he wants to wear a dress, that's on him. You're not gonna see me wearing one, but that's what he wants to do. He is free to make that decision for himself, of course. But the problem is this sort of progressive, so-called progressive agenda is not progress. Saying that gender doesn't matter and that there's no difference between a man and a woman, they keep trying to present it like this. This is not going forward. This is not moving things forward. This is trying to blur the lines and give people the false belief that there's no difference between a man and a woman and there are differences. There's plenty of differences. We're different. Don't get mad at a fact. Men and women are different. X, X chromosome, X, Y chromosome. Why are you getting mad at differences? Why are you getting mad? This so-called incident where Candace Owens said that she misses manly men. She misses traditional men, which truth be told, women in general, straight women, they miss masculine men. They like masculine men. They're attracted to masculine men. Even progressive liberal women, they're attracted to masculine men too. They will call a man toxic for being traditional, for being traditionally masculine. They will call him toxic, but still be attracted to that same man. So we're gonna see what Entertainment Tonight thinks of this. I'm sure they had criticisms of their own based on what Candace Owens said. And we're gonna get to exactly what Candace Owens said. Put up this clip for you guys, as I always do. Put it on the screen. On Friday, we talked about Harry Styles' Vogue cover. He's the first guy to grace the cover solo, so Harry gets playful with clothing inside the pages. Take a look at that. I did a video in regards to the same type of incident with uh, the, the music artist Pharrell. He did a similar thing. It's his right to be like that, but it's my right to criticize it. This man trying to look fabulous. He got his hand on his hip too. Including this gown, he says that clothes are meant to have meant to have fun with and experience with. And once you remove the male female barriers to clothes, it opens up more arenas to play. But one person who is not a fan of Harry's experimenting is author and commentator Candace Owens. So she responded to Harry's Vogue article on Twitter saying, there's no society that can survive without strong men. The East know this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. Bring back manly men. I agree with that quote. I agree with that. Because it has been a steady feminization of 
men in Western societies. We know this. And then she went on her Instagram story to explain, and used the word explain very loosely. Do you think anywhere in Russia, or China, or anywhere in the East, men are wearing dresses and heels? Just a serious question. If you don't understand that all of this is just a part of a bigger plan to take down the West, um, I can't help you. Virtually everything that comes out of Hollywood is about destroying values and weakening our society. So whether that's baby mama culture, mm -hmm. uh, you know. We Candace Owens is spot on. And I don't always agree with her, but 100% uh, on this one. I mean, taking their clothes off, feminism, right? I don't need a man, all of this stuff that you're seeing and now men in dresses in vogue. If you don't realize by now that Hollywood is satanic and you should not be idolizing those people, I can't help you. Hollyweird is insane and they're always pushing the most ridiculous things and Hollywood, as we know, is very progressive. And a lot of this insane stuff comes from progressives. And that is my opinion of it. There's no phobic here. There's no hatred here. I'm not mad at the man for wearing a dress. If you want to wear a dress, go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. I'm, da I'm damn sure not going to join you, though. Okay, just as I'm watching that again, I'm trying to take quick notes to like to respond to all these things. She fits so much in there and has no reason for it whatsoever. I don't even know where to really start. But yeah, so to bring back manly men. So that's the idea of whatever... She wants men to go back to how they were in, I don't know, the 1900s. So it's like the idea of like women, like get back in the kitchen. Like Candace Owens, is that like, you should be speaking. Get back in the kitchen. Women, women should get back in the kitchen. That's what it means when, when Candace Owens said that she wants to bring back manly men. That means woman, get back in the kitchen. You see these narratives that are non sequiturs that come from these progressives. You see how those two statements don't even match up at all? Your mind then, Candace Owens, if you want men to go back to that stereotypical role, then as a woman, you should be in the kitchen making meals. That's, I think, that, that's where the mentality goes. So I don't think that's the way to go. Russia and China are, what was it? They're trying to take down society. She kind of lost me. And notice how they have a, a disdain for traditional gender roles, which that's between that man and that woman, whether or not they want to abide by traditional gender roles within a relationship, that's between those two people. The same way, the same way this man has a right to wear a dress, a couple has the right to abide by traditional gender roles if they want to. Why are you demonizing a woman cooking? Is it bad for a man to cook? At one point, so this is all Russia and China's plan to put Harry Styles in a gown because that will feminize men. I, you lost me there. Yeah, it's a bigger plan to take down the West. Hollywood is destroying society. It's all satanic. Okay. So yeah, I know Candace Owens like has guests, Hollywood guests on her. Yeah, um, old boy had his had his whole island of uh, of, uh, of of little ones. Uh, Epstein, Hollywood man. Yeah. So there's definitely some weirdo stuff going on in Hollywood. Podcasts and stuff like that. That's the thing, once you get into this stuff, once you start to apply reason and logic and just like common sense to these arguments, they make no sense whatsoever. I get that idea that, you know, there's definitely people in Hollywood that want to challenge the norm. And like I said on Friday, the quote I go back to every single time is RuPaul saying, we're all born naked, the rest is drag. It's all material that we put on the body. Even if you're not comfortable with hairstyles and wearing a dress, it's just material he's putting on his body. And it's interesting to have that conversation of why are you uncomfortable with a man wearing material in that kind of form? But yeah, but to make these jumps about Russia and China, let's see what people are, are, are saying here. So, um, why are you uncomfortable with a woman cooking in the kitchen? Jeff says, Candace Owen bash Harry Styles. She just says, we need manly men. Janice says, girl, bye. We can have both. Um, Nelson says, plenty of ethnicities have men in dresses and skirts. That's very true. That was another point I'm gonna, I was going to bring up. Um, yeah, yeah, she says, we all have too much time this year if this bothers her so much. And let's be clear, Candace Owens 
makes money off this stuff too. Putting these kind of opinions out there, it's getting her attention. She's trending this morning. She responded to trending this morning. So there is a point that she wants to get attention and go for it. I just wish all the arguments that she puts out into those like 20 seconds of talking, I just wish she had more justification behind it because there's really a lot of things she throws out there that just don't make a lot of sense. Mio says, toxic masculinity. Uh, Nelson says, your manhood is not based on your clothes. So what a stupid person to say that. Um, Code says he should be able to do whatever he wants. That is true that your manhood um, is not is not dependent upon the clothing you wear. Whether you're butt naked, you should still be a man. That is true. That portion of it is true. Once without having his masculinity or testosterone levels being judged or questioned, there's more than one type of man and all types should be treated equally. Yeah, so Candace Owens, I really don't know <laughs> what you're going for there other than getting... All this all-inclusive, all types of men should all be treated equally. Notice how they throw out these catch-alls that sound really, really nice and sound really friendly. All men of all different types should, should all be treated equally. Um, there are many different kind of people out here. And when you say catch all statements like that, you do realize you're including um, men who um, cause harm to children. You're including all of these men together. You're including perverts, all of that. You said all men of all different types. These, these nice sounding catch all statements, they, they come a lot from the left some attention um let's see any more uh, paul says nope my man makes my meals exactly it's 2020 the, these old stereotypical roles of gender are just gone so i don't know where that yeah, candace owens is coming saying she wants manly men to come back because yeah if you want manly men to come back what does that role become for women what role do you want to go back to as a woman candace i don't think candace owens would be willing to go back to that role that some men that want women re want to return to that role that she would be okay with that what is that fool talking about? So that was that. That was that. And notice how they kept bringing up women. Why do you keep bringing up traditional gender roles of women? And they, and, and they say it in a way like, oh, it's terrible for a woman to be in the kitchen cooking. And then the same type of people that would say it's terrible for a woman to be in the kitchen cooking, oh, my man cooks for me. He get in the kitchen to cook now. Okay, so it's bad for a woman to do it today, but it's not bad for a man to do it today. You see how illogical and how these progressives, they just kind of just say stuff. They just kind of talk. You see this? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Blessings to you.